What's up guys, Flying Kalache Gaming here, and in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading the storage on the all new Steam Deck. All right, so my Steam Deck is a 256 gigabyte model, and while I thought that was plenty of storage for me initially when I ordered it, it's turning out that it's really not. The uh, micro SD card slot just makes games load a little bit slower than I like. So for me, I'm looking to upgrade the internal storage on my unit. So what I've got here is a one terabyte uh, NVMe 2230 module that I picked up online. Uh, I got this on eBay for around $180. So we're gonna go ahead and install this in our system. And, uh, and really quick, what I wanna do is I wanna go through the whole process and show you guys how it works. Now to actually get it done, you're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, number one, you're gonna need your upgraded storage, uh, obviously. You're also gonna need uh, some sort of micro or precision screwdriver. I'm just using this regular Klein Tools one. You're only gonna need a couple of other tools, some sort of like plastic spudger, cause you're gonna have to take it apart you don't want to mess it up. Um, I also have the little guitar pick. I got these out of my iFixit kit, but uh, you can use a regular guitar pick as well. I didn't even actually need this the first time, only the second time. But either way, that's all the tools you need. It's really simple. All right, so let's go ahead and go through the process as it's, uh, it's fairly simple, as I just mentioned. Uh, so first thing you want to do is you're going to actually want to shut down your Steam Deck, not just go to sleep like I just did, but you're going to go ahead and shut it down. And then once it's actually done shutting down, you're gonna to wanna to actually go ahead and uh, start taking it apart and, and closing off, uh, taking it apart using some of the screws in the back. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so there's about eight screws that you're gonna to have to take out, these four, in the, these four in the middle, and then these four around the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And one thing to note is all these screws are different, um, but they're they're different enough where you know the longer ones go on the outside, the shorter ones go in the middle. You don't necessarily need a whole screw graph, which sometimes I'll put together for really complicated uh, take aparts, but uh, just know that the screws are different and uh, try to keep them off to the side. Uh, so the next step you're gonna wanna do is you just need to now simply uh, get open up the case. Now you can actually start from this side over here. Hopefully my camera focuses. So you can start from this side over here. You're just gonna wanna get in between here and that's what we're gonna use these tools for. So you can use the guitar pick to actually do that and kind of get in there and pry it open. But honestly, this pry tool is a, a much better tool for this purpose. So you're gonna wanna get in there and as you get in there, you're gonna wanna just go along the lines until you start hearing a crack. And it's real simple. As you can see here, there's a bunch of clips all around. You're gonna run it across. get the rest of the clips. There we go. And now, just like that, <clears throat> our Steam Deck is uh, open. Now, the rest of it is super simple. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and take off a couple of screws, and we're just gonna unplug our unit, and then we're gonna go ahead and swap out our drive. So there's two screws here, one and one, and there's one other screw under here, under the shielding. We're gonna go ahead and take those out now. All right, so uh, now you're just gonna go ahead and take the shielding off. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple of heat spreaders here, or heat sinks that uh, assumably move the heat over to here to get dissipated out the cooler. So keep that in mind when you do take it apart, make sure none of those are gone. And here is our actual SSD. But before we take this out, we wanna go ahead and unplug our unit. So we're gonna, once again, uh, use our pry tool to go ahead and do that. So just pull that back. There's a little tab here that we can pull this back. <coughs> Excuse me, and now our unit is actually off and now we can go ahead and pop our drive. So we'll go ahead and take this off. Uh, now what you will notice is that there's a little shielding on it. And it's just, it's just uh, again, I think this is to help transfer the heat from the actual SSD as these things do get pretty hot and transfer it out over to our housing. Um, so you can go ahead and just see the slide it out like I just did. I'm gonna go ahead and take that unit out. I'm gonna take this one, slide it right back inside here. And uh, fortunately enough, I got the right one this time. I actually did this uh, take apart and I had the wrong drive, it wouldn't fit. But this one is a good size and it seems to be fitting perfectly fine. So we're gonna go ahead, and put that guy back in there. We are going to go ahead and plug in our power. You will notice it lights up once, but it's not actually on yet, so no worries. I got a little bit paranoid when I first did that last time. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our screws back in. 
and we'll get this thing closed up and then we'll go over the installation of the uh, of the Steam OS operating system. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we have our new drive installed on our Steam Deck. Now, uh, of course, this drive is blank and it doesn't have an operating system. So uh, if you power on your unit now, you'll probably notice that it will not actually boot. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually install the Steam OS operating system or the Steam Deck operating system onto our Steam Deck to, uh, to go ahead and uh, get it up and running. Uh, so let me really quickly show you guys how to actually make uh, your installation disk. Now I'm using an actual C, I'm using a flash drive, but you can also do this with an SD card if you so choose to. Uh, but um, the way you're gonna actually put this together is really simple. You're gonna head over to Steam's website, you can actually download the image, and then you're gonna leverage an application which you probably already know about, which is Rufus. You can even use Balintia Etcher, and you're gonna go ahead and, and uh, get that image onto your actual disk by just kind of setting it up this way. Uh, and you're gonna go ahead and image that flash drive. It does take quite a bit of time. Once you're done, you'll have your Steam, uh, your Steam Deck operating system on a flash drive. Now in order to actually get this going, uh, really simply, uh, you're gonna go ahead and plug this in. I'm gonna plug it into my USB-C drive port, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's power this thing off. And just like that, you now see it is uh, starting up into the Steam Deck OS. And we're gonna go ahead and select our flash drive. All right, so that took a lot of time, but we're finally actually booted into our Steam, uh, Steam Deck operating system. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and navigate the reinstall Steam, Steam OS. <coughs> Wait, I think I did that wrong. I think you're gonna go ahead and re-image the Steam Deck. Let's go ahead and proceed. There we go. Boom, and just like that, we're done. We have uh, our Steam Deck operating system reinstalled back on our console, and we are uh, good to go. So we can go ahead and run through the setup process and uh, get your unit back up to where it was, You know, download all your games and sync files, and uh, everything should be good. So that was just my really quick tutorial as to how you actually do the upgrade of the actual Steam Deck. I've now got one terabyte internally, and I can still stick my 512 gigabyte, or maybe even possibly get a one terabyte. So I'll be honest with you, uh, the, the 512, and the 256 just wasn't enough storage, but now I've got plenty of storage for my Steam Deck. Either way, that was just quick. this quick tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, I picked this up and I, I learned how to do this from watching some other videos, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, with all that being said, once again, I am Flanco Leche. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.